He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Yes. Yes. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. Yes, he, did, he leadeth me in the path of righteousness yes. for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley yes. of the shadows of death, uh -huh. I fear no evil. Amen. For thou art with me. Yes, thy rod and thy staff, yes, they comfort me. They prepare, thy prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Amen. Thy anointed my head with oil, yes. and my cup runneth over. Surely, surely goodness yes, 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 and yes. mercy Amen. shall follow me all Amen. the days of my life, <laughs> and I'll dwell Amen. in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Romans the fifth chapter in the entirety. Amen. Therefore, being justified Amen. by faith, mm -hmm. we have peace with God peace. through our Lord peace. Jesus Christ, Amen. by whom also we have access by faith into his grace Amen. wherein we stand mm -hmm. and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. yes. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, yes. and patience experience, mm -hmm. and experience hope. Amen. And hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. which, is in, which is given unto us. Amen. For when we were yet without strength, yes. in due time Christ died mm -hmm. for the ungodly. For scarcely for our for scarcely for our righteous man will one die. Mm -hmm. Yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. Amen. But God commended yes, his love yeah. toward us. Uh -huh. And that while we were yet sinners, uh -huh. Christ died for us. Yes. Yes. Much more than being now justified by his blood, mm -hmm. we shall be saved from the wrath through him. Mm -hmm. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved Amen. by his life. Amen. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, the death by sin, and so death passeth upon all men, for that all have sinned. Yeah. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Amen. Nevertheless, death re reigned from Adam to Moses, mm -hmm. even over them that had not sinned after the cemetery similitude Amen. of Adam's transgressions, who is the figure of him that was to come. Amen. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, mm. much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, mm. oh. which is by one man, Amen. Jesus Christ, Jesus. hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by that sin, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to commend it. Let me read that again. Mm -hmm. And not as it was by that sin, so it, it so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to the condemnation, that but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. Amen. For if by one man's offense mm -hmm. death reigned by one, mm -hmm. much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in the life by one, Jesus Christ. Yes, Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of the one free gift 
came upon all men unto justifications of life. Amen. For if by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, mm -hmm. so by the obedience of one That's shall so. many be made righteous. Yes. Moreover, the law endured mm -hmm. that the offense might abound. Yes. But where sin abounded, yes. grace did yes. much yes. more yes. abound. Yes. That if sin hath reigned unto death, uh -huh. even so my grace reign through righteousness unto the eternal life by Jesus Christ, Amen. our Lord. Y'all eating good this morning? I'm eating good this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I'll be reading from Psalms chapter 46. Amen. shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. Yes, sir. There is a river, yes, river. the yes. streams whereof mm. shall make glad the city of God, yes. the yes. holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. Yes. She Glory. shall not be moved. Yes, God shall help her and that right early. Yes. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Yes, Say Lord. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Yes. Be still. And know that I am God. Yes. I will be exalted among, among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Yes. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Say I. The Lord has
hear the word of God being read. Amen. Amen. Right there. Many of you glad to be here this morning. Praise God. Amen. 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 It's not by accident. Glory. Amen. Amen. Only by the grace of God. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Only. Amen. And I believe that with all of my heart. Yes, sir. Amen. You ever been in a situation whereby you have to pray real hard? Yes. To, get to, to get to the place you want to go to? Yes. I had to do that this morning. Yes. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise Him. Amen. Amen. It was a somewhat difficult morning trying to get here, but I thank God for His mercy Amen. and His grace. Amen. Amen. Would you turn your Bibles to the book of Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy, I believe, it's chapter 31. Amen. The book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> chapter 31. God has brought us through another week. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. And I'm glad about it. Amen. way the weather is now, you have to be careful where you walk and how you walk. Amen. 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 That ice out there is real slippery. And I thank God for his protection. Amen. Amen. The book of Deuteronomy is chapter 31. We're going to begin reading at verse 6. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your spirit. Amen. Thank you for your spirit. Amen. Give us the mind of Christ Jesus. Amen. Even right now, Lord, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us hear from you. Open up our spiritual ears that we might hear your word Amen. and receive by faith what you have for us today. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. And we praise you, praise you. and we love you, love you because you loved us first. Yeah. Oh, we magnify your name. Yes. Can't get enough of praising you yes. and worshiping you yes. in spirit and in truth. Yes. We praise you. Yes. We thank you yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Now, Father, have your way. Yes. Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. Yes. You are the preacher. Yes. Have your way. Yes. We need to be fed this morning. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. So then faith coming by hearing. Yes. And hearing by the word of God. Yes, we need for our faith yes. to be strong. Yes, in these days and times. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord we thank you for it. Yes, Amen. Amen. God pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Deuteronomy. Chapter 31, beginning with verse 6, verses 6 through 8, and then we're going to go to Psalms 27, and then Psalms 118, amen. Deuteronomy is verse 6. Be strong. God is talking through Moses to the people of God. Be strong and of a good courage. He says, fear not. Y'all see that? Fear not. We don't have any reason to be afraid of anything or anyone. Amen? Oh, come on, God. Give God some praise. He says, he says, be strong and of a good courage. <laughs> fear not. Nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thou God, he it is that do it, go with thee. Listen at these words. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Yes, oh, praise God. Let me read again. He will not fail thee, 
Lord forsake thee. This is that God talk. That's a declaration that God has given us. I want to just share with you this morning from this theme, the cornerstone of our faith. You're going to see it here in the verses. The cornerstone of our faith. Verse 7. And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him in the sight of all Israel. This is what he said. Be what? Be Verse strong. 7, be what? Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. And of a what? Good. Good courage. For thou must go with this people unto the land which the Lord had sworn unto their fathers to give them. Then he says, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. Verse 8. And the Lord. <laughs> and the Lord. I'm not saying and the Lord. And the Lord. The word it says, and the Lord. He it is that do it go where? Before thee. It's good for God to go before us. Amen. Yeah, amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. They, 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 they pinned a, a song. They wrote a song some years ago. Walk with me, Lord. Walk yes. with me. Oh, yeah. that, that's a good song in the tombs. Yes. But it's not really biblical. You see, when we say, walk with me, Lord, walk, we should be walking with God. Mm -hmm. The Bible in the book of Genesis chapter 6 says that Enoch did what? Walk with God. So we want God to go before us because he's our leader. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he's our guide. Verse 8 again. And the Lord, he it is that do it what? Go before thee. He will be where? With thee. With thee. That's good news, church. Amen. And he will not what? Fail thee. Neither forsake thee. Fear not. Neither be what? Disfaith. There it is right there in verse 8. Mm -hmm. The cornerstone of our faith. You don't have to turn there, but Hebrews 13 and 5 says, God says, I will never leave thee. Yeah. Oh. He mm -hmm. says, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. When we take those words to heart, we know that we are in the arms of God. Amen. 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 God is our protector. He's our guide. In fact, about it, he's our everything. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. 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 I, I don't take that word for granted. Hallelujah. <clears throat> he says, I will, I will never leave thee. <laughs> I will never leave thee. Nor forsake thee. Do we believe that? Yes. Yes. Amen. God says, I'm not a man that I can lie. God can't lie, church. Amen. If he says to us, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, you can pin that. Amen. The old folks you say, you can stick a pin in that. Yes. Amen. Because God means what he says. Now, sometimes we have left God. Amen. But God is so gracious and he's so merciful that he allows us to come back to him. Yes, yes. Come on, praise God. Amen. Amen. First John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And he will cleanse us out from all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. That's the word of the Lord. Amen. Verse 8 again. And the Lord, he is that do it, go before thee. He will be with thee, hey, he will not fail thee. Amen. Number three, neither forsake thee. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey, number four, he says, fear not, neither be dismayed. Amen. Don't be discouraged. Amen. Amen. He's telling the people of God, you don't have a need to be discouraged. Yes, God got you back. Yes, yes, Praise God. Turn to the book of Psalms, if you would. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Psalm 27, and then we're going to Psalm 118. One passage in the book of Psalms 27, I believe it's verse 13. David said, I would have what? Faint. Faint. 
Y'all see that? He says, I would have fainted. But he uses the word, he says what? Nevertheless. I don't want to bite it. That's a powerful word. He says, I would have fainted unless. Y'all see that? Unless. That I what? Believe. You got to believe, church. Praise God to believe. When God says to us, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, I don't know about you, but I believe that. Amen. I believe God's word. And so David says in Psalms 27, verse 13, he says, I would have fainted. I would have given up. Yes. Hey, I would have thrown in the town. Yes. Unless. Unless. Oh, Come on now. That I believe mm -hmm. that I will see what? The goodness of the Lord. Where? Right here in the land of the living. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. He's always there. Sometimes when we don't want him to be there, God is always there. The cornerstone of our faith is in those words. He says, I, I don't want to be rebellious. He says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. That's a powerful word, Jesus. That's a powerful word. Look at Psalms 118, verses 22 and 23. I think we're going to read also verses 5 and verse 6 before we go to verse 22. Oh. Psalms 118, verse 5 and verse 6. Do you have it? Yes. Praise God. I'm going to read. Verse 5, the psalmist says, I call upon the Lord. In distress. Hey, that's where I were this morning. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord did what? Answered me. Y'all see that? Yes. I called upon the Lord, and the Lord answered me, and set me in a what? Large place. Read verse 6 with me. The Lord is on my side. Say it again. The Lord is on my side. Come on again. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Come on, give God some Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If it wasn't for this word, and it wasn't for the Holy Spirit of God, and if it wasn't for his mercy and his grace, I could not make it. I don't know about you, but I couldn't make it. Praise God. The Lord is on my side. That, that, that writer knows what he's talking about. Yes, well, he reads that he knows what he's talking about. Amen. The Lord is on what? My, my side. side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Amen. Look at verses 22. Hallelujah. Lord. Praise God. Somebody say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And give him the highest praise. Verse 22. The stone which the builders rejected, or the stone which the builders refused is become what? The head cornerstone or the headstone of the corner. Talking about Christ Jesus. Verse 23. This is the Lord's doing. Y'all see that? Yes. The writer said, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Oh, hallelujah. Look at verse 24. Come on, let's read it together. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, praise God. Praise God. I'm not going to let the devil steal my joy. He'll try to steal your joy. Pain in your body. Other things that you're going with. Things that you're faced with. He'll try to steal your joy. But no, the Lord is on my side. Hey! Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at verse, before we go any further, look at verse 17. I have shared this verse with more people in the hospital, in different places, in their sickness. Look at verse 17. The psalmist says, I shall not die, but what? Live. But live. Yeah. <laughs> I shall not die, but what? Live. But live. And do what? Yeah. And declare the works of the Lord. Amen. You say that enough, you know that you're strong. Hallelujah. The thief coming not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But no, no, no. 
I shall not die, yes. but live. Amen. Somebody say, but live. But live. Amen. Somebody say, I'm living. I'm living. For the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hey. Glory. Look at, uh, look at Romans 31. We're moving on down. Amen. Coming to the full. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. cornerstone of our faith. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. You remember in the, in the Gospel of Mark and also in the Gospel of Matthew, that woman that had that issue of blood for 12 years, mm -hmm. she spoke those words of faith to herself. Yeah. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know, she said, I know that I will be made whole. That's what she knew. Because she was speaking the words of faith. Look at verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? Y'all see that? Yeah. Say it. Say, come on, read it with me. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Come on, give God a If God be for us, he said, if God be for us, it would take a fool to come against us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says, the fool said in his heart, there is no God. No, no, no. What shall we then say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Look at verse 37. Nay, Paul says, in all these things, what did he say? We are more than conquerors through him that love us. Nay, in all these things that we will find ourselves going through. Look at verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, come on, shall trouble, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, come on, as it is written. For thou sake, Paul says, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as a sheep for the slaughter. Nay, somebody say nay. 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 In all these things, we are what? We are more than conquerors to him that love us. Oh, I get happy by myself, church. We are more than conquerors. We are a super conqueror. Look at verse 38. For I am persuaded, the writer says, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, no height, no depth, no any other what? Creature shall be able to do what? To separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Come on, man. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God says, I will never leave thee. Yes, yes. Nor yes, the yes. safety. Last but not least, look at Hebrews chapter 13. Hallelujah. God said it. And yes. if God said it, it has to be true. Amen. He says, I'm not a man that I can lie. Amen. That's one thing that God cannot do. God can't lie. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Yes. He can't lie. So if God said, for each one of us that are in here, he yes. said, I will never what? Leave thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. God means what he says. Yes. Hebrews 13, verse 5. Let your conversation be without what? Covetousness. Covetousness. Don't get caught up in greed. Amen. Or wanting something that someone else have and is not yours. Yes, Lord. Let your conversation, that word conversation is the Greek word for manner of life, Amen. the way you live your life. Amen. Let your manner of life be with what? Be without covetousness. Mm -hmm. Read it with me. And be content with such things as you have. Come on. For he had said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Come on, give us a word. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy Amen, to be praised. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm going to take him at his word. Me too. Hallelujah. Wherever I go, God is there with me. Hallelujah. David said, if I make my bed in hell, yeah. he's there. Yeah. If I go to the highest peak and try to hide myself, David said, he's right there. Yeah. Wherever we go, 
God is there. Why? Because he loves us. Amen. 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 Yes, you do. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. I don't never get tired of the word, saints. Amen. He said, I will never leave thee. Amen. Nor forsake thee. Nor forsake thee. I'm going to live my life that way. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Is it good or what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We say God is good. We got to look at the other side of the corner mm -hmm. and say, in spite of. Amen. Amen. Then the devil can't throw a blockage to watch your faith. Amen. 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 So if something is good, it's good. When something is bad, it's bad. Amen. But we say some fame. God is always good. Y'all sing and preach my message. Turn your Bibles to Romans 5. And we're going to read. You know, if you want to excite that devil, Raising your voice won't do it. Lifting up the name of the Lord Jesus will. Amen. So, you see, everybody in here got something they try to tell them. You, what you going to church for? Your, your, your son ain't saved. Your, your daughter ain't saved. Your, Snow is on the ground. What we need to know is the devil is the lie. Amen. Amen. And a lie can never be true. Amen. You're looking at Romans 5. See, look, look what it's saying now, 5 and 1. Read it with me. Therefore, being justified by what? Faith. Now, look. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you're justified by the word of God that you live. Therefore, in spite of being justified by faith, look, look. Read the next three words. Yeah. We have what? Peace. 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 Amen. That's <laughs> all. Yes, now that ain't got to do with having on the outside. See, God is an inside God worker. Amen. See? Down south, we had a, I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> then we went stupid. Come back tomorrow. No, sir. <laughs> if the devil can't. Come in today. Yes, Don't right. invite him back again. That's right. <laughs> My subject is the peace of God. That's Lord. Now, you'll find the word peace in Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith. We have what? Peace. So if you want peace, you got to be what? Justified by what? Faith in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Not the size of the church or the size of the choir or the hooping of the preacher. Therefore, being justified by faith and come by hearing God's word. Amen. Not I. We have what? Peace. Peace. That's what we are all looking for. Amen. But when we look to the condition, to relationships and political things and all that kind of stuff, that stuff come to try to vaporize our peace. Yes, 
Amen. Therefore, being justified. What's the next two words? By faith. So faith in Jesus justifies our life. Amen. Never mind the circumstances, the situation, the relationship, the condition of the world. If you got faith in Christ Jesus, you got peace in your heart. Amen. 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 Somebody just told me that a certain pastor's wife got all time was and he and I said, look at that. <laughs> When the devil attack, yeah. it see y'all ain't never been down south. You don't you don't know what's been an offense here. Yeah. You, you got to dig a hole. Yes, you do. Now, if you want that post to be strong, you got to dig a big deep hole. Yeah. And when you put it in that hole, you got to pack a lot. What are you gonna pack around it? Yeah. Dirty. Yeah. What does a dirt do? Hold the post. Yes, All this foolishness <laughs> that's around you is designed to make you stand. David said, if it were not for the Lord being on my side, uh -huh. may my soul say. <laughs> I, but the Lord is. Oh my oh my oh my yes, sir. And as he said, if I be for you, <laughs> what? I'm more, I'm more, than, than, I'm more than, than whatever it is that come against you. Yes, so I will victory, yeah. I will peace, I will joy, I will deliverance, I will love, I will forgiveness, I will hope. Mm -hmm. Depends on Jesus that's around us. Like that dirt around that post in that hole. Yes, Lord. And you, you put the, the dirt around the post, and, and, and then you take another little post, and you beat around that dirt. You're tightening up the thing that keep you. Here it is right here. Yes, sir. Okay. The word. Yes, sir. Hey, the word of God. Praise God. Sometimes. We, we so-called professors, we, we try to get too deep, man. But know all years ago that the Lord is on your side. Yes, sir. Now, you, you ain't got to speak French and all that kind of stuff. If God is on your side, the scriptures say he's more. Amen. Huh? Yes. And anybody that try to come against you. Yes, that's victory right there. Yes. That's victory right there. But the devil trying to take our mind and spread it out there to other folk that ain't living right there. That's them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the ways of the sin is death to them. Amen. But my obedience to God is life to me everlasting. As long as I can. You, 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 you hear the choir saying, oh, to his hand. Yes, Lord. God's on what? Change it. Amen. Build your faith on things. <laughs> At that post. Yes, Lord. That, that, you dig your hole deep. Amen. Put the dirt around it. The, the, the very thing that you're trying to put on, you put in a hole and jam it around the post. Yes, Lord. And you're the post. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Having done all. Same. What, what? What? Do what? Same. 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 Look at it now and analyze it because you're a Bible student. It doesn't have, it don't say have done a few things. Right. Have you done what? Oh. Oh. Amen. Have you obeyed God from A to Z? Amen. And see, your obedience is really your leading post. Yes, sir. All right. See, when, when all hell break loose, the other apostles are asking questions, but, but little John, when Jesus sit down, he Put his head on Jesus' bosom. Yes, Lord. So when the Lord says, somebody going to betray me today. Yes, it is. The one that out there trying to stand alone. Mm -hmm. Actually, one is leaning on Jesus' chest. Ask him who it is. Yes, Lord. Huh? Yes, Lord. So whether you understand or not, Depends on your relationship Amen. to the one that can help you Amen. stand. Amen. In 
in having done all, what he said, stand, stand anyhow. That is when the wind blow, stand. stand. Yes. Hallelujah. Stand. When accusation comes, stand. Amen. When somebody's sick around you, stand. Amen. When other people sin around you, stand. Amen. See, that's those are things having done all. Yeah. That, that all thing come to stop you from standing. But on Jesus Christ, just solid rock, I stand. Yes, yes, all of the ground is what? <laughs> Second. Amen. Yes. Come on, man. I like the way black women preach in the choir I say, give me opportunity to just break down what they say into little, little chunks we can swallow it, you know. And Amen. having done all, that's a responsibility. Amen. Count your blessings. Who knows those chests? One, two, three. Count your blessings. Count them one by one. Count your blessings. Yes, sir. <sighs> Count them one by one. Count your many blessings and see what the Lord <laughs> has done. Has done. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. look, the way you got your mind here, you got your mind on your blessings. Yeah. Not somebody else saying, not somebody disobedient, not somebody acquisition. Not somebody calling you out of name. If you really want to be blessed, you got to come. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Look, look, that's an attitude. Count your many blessings. Mm -hmm. Now, if we start counting our blessings, we have to dismiss this evening by 6 o'clock. Because God can move to a point of want to be vulnerable. God be good to us. Yes, sir. Amen. Even now, God be good to us. Amen. When I look around yes, sir. and think things over, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to play. Because God been good to me. Yes, <laughs> yes, he ain't been good to me. Yes, he ain't been, been good. He been good to me. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Five. Therefore, that is no matter what. Being justified by faith in Christ Jesus. What is the benefit? Read the next three words. We have what? Peace. So if you want peace, be justified by faith in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. So Jesus is Mr. Peace. Amen. He's the author of peace. He's the prince of peace. Amen. He's the king of kings. The Lord of Lords. He's mocking of He's vulnerable. He's mucho bueno. He's good. Yes, My Lord. subject is peace. Amen. Therefore, being justified by faith, that's how you get what? Peace. peace. You got to be justified. Get the sin out of your life. Get Jesus in your life. He being the prince of peace. Mm -hmm. So when you get Jesus, you got the source of peace. Yes, Lord. And when the source of peace lives in you, anything that comes to your head, he'll cancel it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Praise God. How come? I am a child of God. Yes, Lord. I wash my robe in the crimson fountain. I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen. That simple testimony. Look at me. Will make heaven doors open. Yes. I am what? A child yes, of God. God. Doors open. Praise God. So. But there are responsibilities. Amen. To being a child of God, you have to obey the Father. Amen. Amen. And look what the scriptures say. Hallelujah. Obedience is what? Better. Yes, than sacrifice. Amen. So you can't disobey God and go do a good thing and try to make that good thing cancel your disobedience. No, Amen. you're either right on your way to glory, you're wrong on your way to hell. Amen. But I know that. Amen. You don't have to know even Galilee. <laughs> yes, sir. What's his name? 
Jesus. He's your friend. Yes, Lord. He's your friend. He's your friend. Amen. See, your friend will do things for you without telling you so you can say thank you. Amen. See, that parking lot was full of ice yesterday. James called and said, you need, you need to bring some salt. Well, I'm thinking that ice going to melt. In some places, it's going to be slick. So look what the pastor did. Went out and bought some salt to make it easy for you to get into the church. Now the devil's job is to make things slippery in here. <laughs> yes, no. now, I ain't going to full gospel no All they do is read the book. Now you better get some salt. <laughs> yes, All right. And you don't have so you don't know nothing. When you kill a hog, <laughs> Jay Grandma showed me that you can kill a hog in Mississippi in August. Now you know meat ain't gonna stand that heat. That's right. But if you get some salt yes, and take your time and just don't put it on a rub it into okay. it. Then turn it on the edge and rub it on the head and turn it over and, and, and rub that salt in there. Mm -hmm. And you eat that meat five years from now. Mm -hmm. The scripture said have salt in yourself. Mm -hmm. In our case, the salt is the Holy Spirit. Yes, it keeps us from spoiling. Yes, so as men are led by the Spirit, Spirit of God, they are the children of God. See, the, the gospel is plain. Yes, sir. Amen. Romans 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace. What's the next two words? With God. with God. Who are you seeking peace with? with God. God. I, I know. Uh, I get bold and stuff. But you, you know, even my, my, my Jay Grandma, you say, even teeth and tongue fall out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you ever bit your tongue? Yeah. <laughs> Look what the scriptures say. <laughs> Only by the what? Grace of God. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening to the gospel? Yes. And grace come by faith. Faith, mm -hmm. faith come by yeah. hearing. Yeah. Hearing yeah. come by the word of God. Yeah. So never mind filling these pews up. Yeah. Our job is to read to you. It's in the pulpit. Nothing but the word. How come? Because the word can produce hope. Amen. It can produce peace. Yes, sir. The word can produce hope. The word can reduce can produce forgiveness. Amen. Long suffering. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, and when somebody jug it and keep jugging, 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 you need to pray. Amen. But before you pray, you need to read. Amen. Forgive those that despitefully use you. Amen. If you do that, you put coals of fire on their head. Mm. So think about the suffering of those that try to make you suffer and pray for them. Amen. Did you know Jesus prayed for the very people that killed him? Mm. They, hung them. They, didn't just hang, they nailed him to a tree. Did you know Jesus is supposed to be our example? Are y'all still around? Amen. If you want to have a life stamped out worthy to go to heaven, we need to see Jesus in this book. Because he's the author yes. and the finisher yes. of our faith. Amen. And we walk by faith. faith. We live by faith. faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. Got to have faith. Amen. Yes, sir. 
And in simple language, faith is, God said it, that's something. Never mind who do what, when, how come, what they're doing to me, what they ain't doing for me, what they're doing, what they say. No, no. If God said it, it works. Yeah. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah. And the Bible said this gospel is so plain. Now look at me. Even a fool don't have to help. Amen. Yes. If you could see my, I don't know what I got in my mind there. Books. Hundreds of them. And when I go back there, I go, oh, I can't even remember right now. Amen. God said, you didn't write it. Amen. 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 God's heart is my lip. So if you want to look into God's heart, which is his voice, Write what you read. Amen. And your library will be so big that the church can't open it. Yes, Lord. But it will come down to some simple thing like James said. God show us. Okay. Amen. God. <clears throat> yes, Lord, you. Now, now we, I, we have to teach this balanced gospel, you see. You can't be God given. Amen. Then I, you try to flip it over. You can't be God taken. Amen. Did you ever see a nickel with two heads on it? You got, got a head or a tail on it. Mm. Good is the flip side of bad. We was bad. Jesus came and bled and flipped us over. So when he flipped us over, we were no longer us. We were called the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Good. A testimony is making known the good deeds of the Lord to the people. Amen. The good deeds of the Lord is what God said. Amen. Call upon the Lord in the time of trouble. Yes, sir. When you sin, cast all your care upon the Lord. He, this is good stuff here. Amen. He cares for you. Amen. Just like you are. Too much to leave you like you are. Amen. See, as holy as we are, we're still in the process of in Mexico, they make these pots out of clay, you know. And they got something they put their foot on it and they make this clay turn here. And as the clay turn, they take a little piece off and put that little hole in there. And when they get through, they have to have a vessel. Amen. You are God's vessel. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, a vessel is a thing that holds things. So if you're the vessel of God, your content must be the Holy Ghost. Yes. You must be filled with what? Hey, uh -huh. you got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, when you are, Lord. and somebody do something, you hear God, uh -uh. Amen. Oh, you hear here. Yeah. You might not be no tell you to do it, but God will never let you step on a snake. Amen. Yes, Amen. Uh -uh. Amen. You don't say, uh-uh. No, no. He got a still quiet voice. Sometimes he gonna change. Sometimes we go and talk about I, I act like a man is talking to me. Mm -hmm. And I make sure I get all the earwax <laughs> out of my ear. Because I don't want to miss nothing. Right. That God has said Amen. to me. Amen. Behold, I come in the volume, heaven and earth, of the book, it is written of many to do my will. I love this church. Amen. I have a good reason not to come to church. But they good enough. Amen. Amen. You and I. On a 
a man. Be ye faithful unto what? Yeah. Then, and then I will give. We're working on that crown, boy. Amen. So, nobody told me the road was going to be easy. <laughs> uh, <coughs> look up the Lord. It, it is a drag you across. Hmm. We got to keep this book simple. Don't drag the cross in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Amen. Carry the cross. Carry it. Yeah. Daily. Yes, Amen. Sir. Amen. How come? The cross is something that Jesus died on. Amen. Pick up the benefit of the death of Christ and show it. Amen. Amen. And you thank you so much. You go to church. You, you, you don't have to go to church. Every time you always should. Mm. Praise the God. devil's job, this is Bible now, is to accuse the brethren. Amen. Amen. Now, it's the devil's job to accuse them of wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. It's God's job to crucify Jesus. Uh -huh. To make that devil a lie. Yes, Lord. I'll ask you to put it with me. Amen. I'm 85 and a half. And it won't be long. Uh -huh. I'll be leaving here. I'm coming to you this much now. <laughs> Huh? Yes, sir. And my mom says weeks and weeks says days and the days is hours. And I like that word. Any day now. Mm -hmm. Look what it said. I was over here. Over here. Any day now. Mm -hmm. I'll be going home. Home. Amen, Jesus. You know this book shall be pure books. We we'll just come through here. Mm -hmm. Wasn't supposed to be that way. I don't mess us up. Right. And by the way, he didn't encourage Adam to sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Adam had a choice. Amen. Amen. We got one too. Amen. So, Amen. Come to a church that teach nothing but the word of God. Yes, the word of God is truth. And you should know that and you should know that truth. What will it do? Make It'll make you free in spite of. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, people tell me about this election and all that kind of stuff. This woman get up and lie this time, and the next time she calls somebody else a lie, everybody, everybody pointing at the error of everybody. Uh -huh. Ain't yeah. nobody talking about how good God is. Yes. So they see an error that that person made. And she got 25 or 30 years in the service of the government. But what she does for the government won't justify her for the things she's supposed to be doing for the king. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's right. Jesus said, I, I'm not going to call you servants anymore. They certainly don't know what their master do. Mm -hmm. He said, from now on, I'm going to call you friend. Amen. And yeah. everything that my father tell me, yeah. I'll make known to you. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. The word of God. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Everybody in here that failed doing something. But this book tell me, Jesus cannot fail. Amen. And I teach you every Sunday so you'll understand. Jesus prayed to the Father, Father, prepare me a body. Mm -hmm. It was the body talking to God. Amen. So Jesus is saying, prepare me a body that won't burn. Right. Amen. Amen. You got a body now. Mm -hmm. That won't burn. Amen. Amen. Because
what you call the body of what? Christ. Christ. Amen. And when all the hell boiled over, enjoy yourself. Hey! Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Lord. And worship. That's, what he, that's what I'm talking about. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. And then you try to, for your love and your kind and your tender mercy, <laughs> for your forgiveness, for your long suffering, Amen. for your hope, for your joy. You, you just pile it on to Amen. Jesus. Because your life and my life now look like the praises that we offer God in spite of. Amen. Now, ain't nobody in here that they got some spite of. Mm -hmm. And I and just quote the Bible, you see. They, they say, your voice in spite of so is in your own family. Amen. Amen. So we have to teach you the power of forgiveness. Amen. And let me show you something. When you really forgive a person, you don't see it no more. Amen. Amen. You don't use it against him no more. Right. Because you're not an accuser of brethren. Because I take your sins. He did say all of them. Now put them behind me. And I choose not to recall them again. Yes. Amen. So the only sin that will take us to hell is that last one. <laughs> Because God don't keep no records. Amen. Now let's see about his body now. Will you remember last time? You lost. Because you're doing what the devil done. Accusing the brethren. Jesus said, I came. Yes, sir. He did say that you that you might have what? Life. And that you have that life what? More abundant. I'm almost 86. And that's eight with a six on the other side of it. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Because you're growing older. The older I get, the more I love God. <coughs> So we're at 86 almost. I'm living on what the world called borrowed time. Amen. Three score, 60, 10, 70. Mm -hmm. I'm 15 years beyond that. Mm -hmm. So how come I can't sit here and tell you who did it for me? Yeah, man. And then you say, well, if he did it for real. <laughs> you, you sit here and eat this word. Yes, sir. Take it home with you. Mm -hmm. And when you go home with your wife, don't, don't sit well there by the door. Mm -hmm. Y'all getting mighty quiet in here. <laughs> we are known as the bride of Christ. Yes, Lord. And Christ is never far from us. Yeah. He's close. Yeah. Just in case. If a thing don't go right, yeah. it's Jesus' job to stand between you and that yeah. thing that's going wrong. Yeah. He's there to take the battery off of you. Yeah. So when you justify, crime will come. You know, let me be Shut up. Make known the good deeds of the Lord what? Among the people. Yes, Tell the people. This is Jesus you got. Is the best friend you will ever have. I saw him lay down his life for you when you were not worthy. And that not being worthy identifies the word grace only by the grace of God. I'm here for what I'm here. And God so loved me 
See, see, you got to claim God as your own God, your private God. Yes. Because yes. when you have a problem, it ain't nobody's problem but yours. Yes. So you got to be able to say, Lord, I got you by your word. Amen. You Amen. said cast all your care. I need to teach that. I told you last Sunday. It don't say cast all your cares. You've been cast them all your life. This last one needs to get rid of it. Because it's an anchor around your neck. Anything. Anybody. Any situation that will cause you to worry, get rid of that. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength not to worry. See, we got to be real about the thing. And the devil will try to give a good reason not to come to church. Yes, he does. But look at me now. When you drive your car, when that little hand get over there to what he, <laughs> you ain't gonna walk with that hand. <laughs> Cause you don't want to get stranded. Amen. Look what Jesus said. He said, my cross is too much for you. Carry me down in hell. Pick up your cross. Yes, sir. And I want to tell you about our children. No child's disobedience, no child rebellion is power than your prayer. Amen. Did you hear what I say? Amen. Your prayer got more power than anything to come against the will of God for any Lord. Hold to his hand. Because change it. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Mm. to yourself. Don't try to make melody. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Hey, thank you. My subject, the first word, peace. Now that's a word that everybody in here want more of. Amen. Let me show you something now. The only way peace will increase, self must decrease. You got to get rid of you. Now look here. When you ask God to increase your faith, don't, don't tell him how to do it. God is a kind of God that so loved the world. So if you want your peace to increase, your peace need an object. Amen. Some call yoga or stuff, you know. You go and press against that wall. That wall ain't gonna move. But if you keep pressing, you notice you're only getting bigger. Pressing against that thing that will not move. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. There's some things in our life that refuse to move. Yes, yes. But listen to me now. Amen. If they were there when you press, you'd fall. You mean God working in his mysterious ways, he's what? Want us to perform. So don't, don't do like I do. Don't question God. Then I turn around and tell him I love you. He said, what, girl? <laughs> Romans 5. I wrote down every, ch every chapter that these people read. I wrote down. I sure like to teach that. I said, Romans 5 and 1. There is, therefore, being justified by faith, 
Look what faith does. Read the next three words. We yeah. have peace. peace. Now, Jesus is the prince of peace. And you have peace with God, God through our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. So faith in Christ Jesus gives us peace with God. So Jesus is a peacemaker. Amen. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it down here where we live at. If there's some confusion, you need peace. Amen. If you need peace, you need a peacemaker. Amen. You can't make peace. Amen. Romans 5 2. By whom also we have access by faith, there's that faith again, into his grace. So we're looking at peace, faith, and grace. Jesus, God the Father. You look at that, the benefit of having all three of those people living in your soul. Amen. That's why you can get, get happy to everybody singing or praying and doing a rap. Amen. Amen. Back when I have some music, he play in his office over there. And I can hear him over there shouting. How come? He's listening to somebody telling him, you know God loves you. Amen. Here's the other thing. He's a good God. And because he's a good God, he loves you in spite of you. Amen. Now grace will cover that in spite stuff. Amen. So nobody got a right to say I'm super holy. Amen. Because only by what? Grace. The grace. Amen. We ain't bought nothing. We ain't bought nothing. We ain't bought nothing. But, but I just had a vision, you see. And God took us and put us in the bosom of his son and hide our filth. Amen. We ain't bought nothing. Amen. We can't live holy. Mm. Holy lives in us. us. Amen. What's his name? Amen. I'm just teaching the church this morning. I'm just teaching the church this morning. Hallelujah. Teaching the church this morning. Hallelujah. I appreciate your patience. Amen. And when I be teaching you, God be showing me simple stuff that I experienced. Down south, we used to take flat rocks, and as a pool, you take them up, you skate on that water. Yes, but you can't make a round rock do it. Yes, sir. If you want to skate on grace, you got to flatten out self. Yes, <laughs> huh? Yes, yeah. huh? So yes, the sun will make you sink. Yes, mm -hmm. Praise God. Um, Teaching you, what would I teach you? Hallelujah. Anywhere I go, I'm the only person there. Mm -hmm. And I start thinking negative as a women now. If I'm the oldest person there, God has been good to me mm -hmm. longer than he's been to the folk that's younger than me. Yes. And I start calculating. And I get all I think. Then I come to the scripture. Only by grace. Only by what? Grace. I am what I am. No place to boast. Amen. No place to boast. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the devil try to fuck me up, you know, come out. This church is worth a million dollars. And all this property is paid for. And you got these pews and paid for. Lord said, how old is your car? <laughs> I say it's 16 years old. Is it still running? Yes, I said, yeah. He said, James, learn to be thankful. Amen. Yes, sir. Here's the word, in spite of. Amen. See, if you're not, uh, if you're not thankful in spite of, then in spite of, will rob you of your joy. Because you're looking at what somebody's doing against you, and you're missing what God did for you. Amen. Amen. We used to water in field. Well, I used to water in field. But oh, you ain't got to say amen. I know you ain't been saved all your life. Stop lying in here. <laughs> Only by the grace of God. I appreciate James giving me time to do that, to just tell you, put your 
faith in God. Yes, sir. Don't put your faith in no thing. Mm -hmm. Don't Amen. put your faith in nobody else. Only your faith. Faith ain't no good if you don't have an object. You got to have faith in something. Let me show you. You, you. you bought this car, you come to a red light, you don't even take your brakes. You just think if I put my foot on the brake, this car going to stop. Oh, but that's by the Great. grace of God. Amen. Yes, sir. That's true. Michael told me this morning, I have a problem coming down sometime on Sunday, and he's always the first one here. Yes, sir. And he had to drive 70 miles one way. Yes, sir. He said, I had trouble this morning, Pastor, trying to keep myself awake. And I said to myself, only oh, oh, the private praise of God. Amen. Then I come and say, thank Lord, thank you for your keeping awake face. Yes, see, 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 man. Grace, it does more for us than we know. The fact that you can heal me is grace. The fact that you can see me is grace. And I ain't gonna say the other part, but I was gonna say the fact that you put, put up, no, I ain't saying that part, cause I don't know where faith might run out of you know what I am. I'm a teacher. My job is to take that big thing. Small. See, you ever fed a baby? You can't feed a baby him, huh? <laughs> He'll try to eat it. Look, because he's a baby, and babies don't know what's good for them. It smells good. Put his finger on him, put your finger in his mouth, it tastes good, mm -hmm. look, but he ain't ready to eat that yet. That's all. Now, what did the scripture say? We grow in grace. That's all. If you don't grow in grace, you're going to own in disgrace. I mean, see, it, it's either up in the name of Jesus or down in the name of Satan. Everybody's going up toward God or down toward hell. That's a fact. Amen. And when we try to apply it to the people we love, we don't want no. It's true. If a man reject God and don't repent, there is no hope for that man. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Now I learned the hard way. And I, won't, I don't want nobody to experience God after going through what I went through. Amen. No mother, no father, no sister, no brother, no nothing. That's a bad thing. It's Look, but I find in this book here, God said, my grace is sufficient. Yes, now that means no matter what. Amen. So somebody wrote on all my days, all my available time, I'm going to wait till my what? Change. 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 Now let me teach that to you. The change has already been there. And he's waiting on you. Because in the beginning was it. Word. word and the word was God. with God and the word was God. God. So so God waiting on us. Yes, sir. And if you just let me teach you this little simple stuff every Sunday, when things come, you say, Oh, that's what Ray was talking about. Oh, somebody call you out of name. Thank you. You think you so going out of there until you it don't take all that, yes it does. It takes time, not 
take it home with you. Don't mix it up. It takes time to be Amen. holy. Amen. It takes time for us to make up our mind, I think I'm going to surrender my foolishness right. to Jesus. The time's on us. He tells us with the Father. Yes, sir. Let me read now so you think you've been to church. You got the time on me. You got the time on me. Thank James for giving me this time to preach. In Rome, I got Romans 5, Psalm 23, John 14. Book. Therefore, being justified by faith, not I, we have peace. <clears throat> so if you want peace, what you got to have? Justification. Yes, what justification do? It gives you faith. peace and faith in God. Amen. How? Look, 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 at the, look at the second, third person. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access, a way in by faith. Faith is a way into God. Romans. Five and two, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace. So faith gives us peace. Peace gives us grace through faith in Christ Jesus, Amen. wherein we what? Stand. Having done all what? Stand. Stand. I'm like a tree planted by. Romans 5 2. By whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand and what? Rejoice in what? Hope. What hope? The hope of the glory of God. We rejoice in because God gave us hope. Now let me show you now. All these things God has given us. Yes, sir. Is a target to the devil. The devil don't want you to have no faith because he don't want you to have no peace. He don't want you to have no peace because you'll have grace. Uh -huh. He don't want you to have no grace because you'll have Jesus. You don't want to have Jesus because Jesus will give you hope. And hope will not make you shame. Oh, 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 oh. Hope will not make you Pastor, how many people you got in your church? I, I used to address that seat. I used to say, I ain't got no church. I said, a few. Y'all you, you preaching a few? <laughs> On Thursday night, sometimes I don't know nobody be here but me and Paulette. I preach then, just like I'm preaching now, because they got this thing called the internet. And thousands of people can relate to it. Mm -hmm. My subject is peace. Yeah. And let me, let, me, let me help you relax now. Let me see. Let me see. See, it's not here that they got a clock on it. Let me see now. All right, I got 17 minutes. Romans 5 and 2. By whom also we have access, a way in by faith into his grace wherein we stand. We stand in grace by faith in Christ Jesus. When we stand and rejoice, look, look, read it with me. In the hope of the glory of God. My God, that's why you join. You're in God's house. You're in God's glory by faith in His Son, Lord Jesus. Amen. And we love one another. I said we love one another. I said we love one another. And love never. Never fail. We're a family, you see. We're a you see. And I tell you before, I can put all my family in my car. Hallelujah. My three sons, my wife, and I can fit in that lake. But heaven is not going to be big enough for all of us. Amen. So the Bible said we're going to go in heaven and out of heaven and have pastor. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to eat the grace of God in, that God is in, and there ain't going to be no world. Time ain't no more. Amen. So when we get to heaven, we're going to really be the children yes. of God. Amen. And we're going to be children that love God. <clears throat> and first we the 13th, so when we go to heaven, we're going to see Jesus just like he is. And we're going to be just Amen. like him. Amen. Oh, if that isn't enough to encourage you to live right, Amen. we have to give one another the benefit of the suffering that we go through because we love God. Yes. In this world, you shall have tribulation. tribulation. Yes. But be a good cheer, I've overcome the world. That's good stuff for us to know, man. Amen. Amen. That's right. Can you imagine what these bills are? They are always paid. But only by the grace, grace of God. Amen. This is an expensive building. You got to heat this whole building or the pipes going to bust. Uh -huh. So I got three furnaces running all the time. So there are lots of ways of seeing how good God is. Yes. But look, we are lovers one of another. Mm -hmm. So being lovers one another, we help us one another. Amen. Amen. Together we stand, divided, divided we fall. The book got everything covered, man. Yes, he got everything. And it tells you, now be patient. Mm -hmm. Look now. You know, the source of patience, tribulation. Right. It gives you patience, then it tries your patience. Yeah. It expands like that. In all your ways, acknowledge that God, He will direct you. Have, have faith in Rome was fire, and not only so, but we glory, look at it now, in what? Tribulation. Also, look, knowing, read it, that tribulation working what? Patient. If you don't have no patience, you ain't going through nothing. And tribulation got a job to work your patience. Mm -hmm. And don't be saying, oh man, what's going to happen next? Mm -hmm. You stay away from that. You just stay where you are. It's going to come to you. Amen. You ain't got to wonder what's going to happen. God will make sure it comes to you. Yes, tribulation come. Listen to this now. Tribulation come to make us strong. Yes, you don't get no muscle picking up feathers. Yeah. Tribulation makes us strong. That is, what we go through, even unnecessarily, Amen. will make us stronger in faith toward God and forgiveness toward the one that brings the tribulation. Amen. See, 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 love comes with forgiveness. Amen. You, you, you need to get that. Yes. You are slept no, sir. Mm. Without tribulation, you will not grow. Amen. Amen. We say things like pick up your cross and follow. Man, did you know they killed that man? Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. And they killed 10 of his disciples. All right. One committed suicide. Only little John that had his head on Jesus' bosom. So when Jesus got ready to go to heaven, he called John, come here, John. Took Mary of that. Behold your mother. Mother, behold your son. So God gave that faithful apostle 
responsibility. Maintain my mother. We have responsibility. Love ye one another. Do good for one another. When this one impossible passed by a soldier, he had a duffel bag, a duffel bag, he didn't honor you a lot. Wait a minute, why everybody you own that duffel bag? And when this, 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 this soldier came by and, and put this duffel bag on this saint's, okay, I got 10 minutes, on this saint's shoulder, this saint carried that, that first mile. That's a law, you got to do that, whether you want to do it or not. But to show his love, he carried that man's burden another mile. Mm -hmm. At the end of that second mile, mm -hmm. they were friends. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus say? Pick up your cross and follow. Mm -hmm. He wasn't going to no picnic. That's right. They tried to kill him again. He had to escape through the crowd to kill him. Mm -hmm. What does the crowd represent? This book. When people persecute you, dog and damn you, celebrate you, hide yourself. Yes, Lord. Hide yourself with your shield and your what? Book. Mm -hmm. This book is real, say. It is real. Yes, Lord. Yes. That's what killed black men awake trying to get it this morning. If black men can drive 70 miles and beat me in the church and I'm only five houses down there, mm -hmm. I need to check myself. <laughs> Sometimes black men drive here and his car be on empty when he get here. Look, uh -oh. I'm going in spite of him. Amen. If I run out of coke power, somebody right. gonna help me. Amen. You got to be committed. Let's go. Father, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Go to that sick bed and do what you do good. Yeah, Heal right. and deliver. Yes, Lord, I'm not satisfied with all the people in the hospital. In any city you go to, there are more people in the hospital than there's a church. Yes. Something is wrong with that. Yes, Lord. You gave us a request. Come unto me. Yes, Lord. All you that let me go more such in the head. And lay in heaven, lay now, give you will take my yoke and put me. I'm meek and a glory in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. We thank you, Lord, for your rest. I'm Pastor Will. I teach the full gospel Christian church. Put their trust in God. God say, I will never forsake you. Mm -hmm. Hey, yes, that day, I'll never leave you, mm -hmm. even to the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Now, other folk can say that, but God is the only one that can really yeah. do it. Yes, Six minutes. Well, you know we have a technician that is extremely skillful. And he uses equipment, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment to film this ministry and put it on television.
bless him and his family and his business and what he wants to do. You know God will hear us when we pray one for another because he said pray you one for another. another. Amen. And we're conscious of the time. I got five minutes. Look at Romans 5, 14. Romans 5, 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered the world, Adam, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Mm -hmm. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Yeah. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. Jesus is heaven's gift to move hell's will. It is the devil's will to claim the soul of every soul. Amen. But Jesus said, I am come. He did say it. He did say it. I, I am come that they might have what? Life. And that they might have that life what? More abundantly. You that are listening on television, give me a call. 810-423-2433. 810-423-2433. Again, we thank Paul for having us. Yes, Lord. We're, th we're done now. We're done now. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And my salvation a strong deliverance in him will I trust
grateful thumb. Yes. What is your emergency?